Hey guys, this is Landon Day with Graphic Authority, and today I want to show you just a couple of things and answer a couple of questions that have been coming uh, at me via our Facebook page and email. Uh, first, we're going to drop a couple of photos into this template. This is going to be one of the new ones from the site called My Inspiration. And we're going to drop a couple of photos in, and then we're going to show you how to rearrange or make the clipping mask bigger, the frame around the photo bigger, uh, to fit your photos better. So we're just going to start off, we're going to drop this photo into photo one. Uh, the photos I'm using today, I'm actually going to brag on a little bit. These came from Dustin and Missy Center uh, of ML Portraits, and I believe they're in South Dakota. Great friends, we met them at Spa this year. Uh, so we're going to drop this photo in right here on Photo 1, just using my Move tool. Click and drag. And we're going to go ahead and close that so we can have a little more working space. And when we open Photos, there's Photo 1 and we're just going to drop it right under this arrow. Now if you have uh, Photoshop Elements, you will not see all the folders. That's one of the big deals is you can't group your layers into folders. So we're just going to drag and drop this one right under the arrow and blank it off. And there it is. Now we're going to go ahead and resize it just a little bit. We want to be able to see a little bit more of a mom and dad, but after having a kid I know that mom and dad are not important at all it's all about the kids now so the size of there is pretty close but now we're going to drop a photo into photo 2 and this is the one I want to work on just a little bit more with you so here it is and we're just going to click and drag it over onto the file and right now we dropped it into under the photo 1 no big deal we're just going to open up photo 2 and drop it right under that arrow so just click and drag it right there under photo 2 and blink that off and there it is now obviously it's a lot smaller photo so we need to resize it down a whole lot. But what I wanted to show was is this is a little squarer uh, maybe, maybe not. That's actually pretty close. But for our purposes right now let's just say that we want to leave it like this and there was more down here that we wanted to see and we didn't really care about what was around the rest of it. I'm just going to click OK there. We're going to go into the frame and the clipping part of this uh, of photo two here. So click click on the clipping part and the frame. Control T, and we're going to drag it down to fit the photo a little bit more. And you can see there was a little grunge in there that I didn't drag, but the same thing would apply there. So if we wanted to make it a little bit different size, that's how you do it. Instead of dragging your photo and resizing your photo a bunch to refit it or uh, warping your photo some, go ahead and warp your frame, the clipping mask, because it doesn't really matter. It's not like you're identifying a face because of the shape of the frame. It works out just like that. So here's kind of a before and after of what we just did. We just stretched it and made it a little bit fatter. So if you wanted to make it square, if you wanted to make it long and skinny, um, everything, the same rules would all apply still. Something like that. And just by changing the frame and the clipping mask is how we're doing that. So I hope that that made sense. I hope that that was just a quick, quick uh, tutorial to show you how to resize your clipping masks and instead of resizing your photos. Go ahead and watch part two. I'm going to make another video right now. And it is going to be on making this album spread fit into a typical size gallery wrap canvas. Have a great day.